Hello YouTubers, and this is a quick first look at the uh, b and sex for 2017. Uh, this is not a review, a review will be coming later, so anyway, let's take a look at them in most interesting to least interesting. So, this is the Monsters set for 2017, so we can see here we've got the Cyber Controller. Uh, not a lot of differences, the main difference with him is he's got uh, a darker head this time around. Uh, the head has a darker paint job. And uh, the eyes and the mouthpiece seem to be very uh, shiny silver this time around, uh, compared to last time. We've got the uh, Attack Cyberman. Now this is kind of like, this is basically a hybrid between the Earthshock Cyberman and uh, the Rogue Cyberman that came with the uh, Rogue Cyberman and Perry set, basically. It's an Earthshock Cyberman, but with the uh, silver boots. And uh, they've also left um, the jawline transparent as well. And uh, he does come with his gun as well, which is um, in a sort of um, gold copper sort of colour. And uh, I think this is part of the reason why these are $16.99 each as opposed to $15.99. Is because they do come with accessories. Uh, last year, none of them, none of the figures came with any accessories. We've got uh, Commander Score who's uh, basically exactly the same as his original release, except he's been given a more glossy, more metallic paint job this time. However, I've noticed his Sontaran bag actually has uh, the wrong n number of um, sort of eye So you can see on the back there, and on the original release it was five. Whereas if we flip it round on this one, it's hard to see, but there's actually only three. I don't know if that's just my one or not. Mustn't be, must. But anyway, that's that one. This is easily the best set in the range. So if you're gonna get any of them, get this one. Um, I went um, to B and M's, and they only had two in. So luckily, I was able to get one, and so was my brother. So the next best one in the range uh, is the fourth Doctor set. So this is the second fourth Doctor set to be released in the B and M range, and uh, basically. Uh, the fourth Doctor doesn't uh, look as orangey. He does sort of in this lighting, but if I just dim the light there, you can see he doesn't look um, nowhere near as orange as uh, the original uh, pictures showed. We've got K9 as well, who is finally in the uh, classic colours. If we just compare that, uh, you see with K9. So, hooray, hooray for that. Uh, he comes with this sonic screwdriver. He doesn't come with a control panel for some reason, which is annoying because you know K9 is like half a figure, so you would have thought they would have put the control panel in. But oh well, it does have uh, the Pyramids of Mars scarf, which is nice. And uh, also, interestingly, um, the waistcoat has been painted a slightly different colour. If I just lift up the scarf on the original, you can see uh, there's. Some grey lines and that going um, across. Whereas on this one, it's uh, orange lines. You know, a bit weird. Um, and uh, also, this seems to be more of the uh, peach coloured uh, cravat compared to the original. Uh, I can confirm the back of the scarf by looking at it from the box. The back of the scarf still. Uh, is left uh, unpainted, so the back of the scarf is still white. We've got the Leela figure from the Invasion of Time uh, with her knife, which is nice. Uh, personally, um, I would have rather the re-released uh, the original uh, Leela figure or the Comic Con one, just because I, I prefer those ones. But uh, pretty good, pretty good. Um, you know, this is a this is a nice uh, sex, especially if you haven't got uh, the exclusives and that and you've got the new variant of K9 and here we have the one that no one you know it's the one that no one really wants or asks for in the first place and this is the ninth Doctor set or you could call it the Rose set because all the figures are from Rose you know it's like um, the constant tenth Doctor sets that were released by B&M and, and that so well by character to B&M so the mo most interesting one is the uh, Roman Orton, not Roman Orton, just regular Orton, and uh, this one was actually uh, a later release, I believe it might have actually been an exclusive uh, to America, but uh, yeah, it's 
you know, it's a nice, um, variant on, uh, an horse on. Unfortunately, it's still got the old-fashioned hang where you have to twist it. Here we've got the Ninth Doctor, which is a little bit interesting because, um, the jacket uh, looks more similar to the jacket that was in the uh, 13 Doctors box set. However, he's got the remo uh, the maroon shirt. And uh, it's a bit weird, but his lips seem to be a funny colour. On camera, it looks alright, but in person, the look, they seem a bit off. I don't know what it is about it. He comes with a side screwdriver, and then, oh god, no. Yes, this is the original Rose figure. Now, um, some people are saying, oh, you know, they've revised it, you know, they've changed things. No, it, they've given it a better paint job, a slightly better paint job, but that's it. The hair and the face um, have had a better paint job, but the sculpt of it is exactly the same as the original. And I got, if you just compare it, just like, uh, it's just, you know, I got this one just for um, completionist's sake. But anyway, that is uh, the B&M sex, so I will be um, definitely be reviewing the Monksker's uh, sex. If you want me to review the other ones, um, please say in the comments below. But anyway, that's it for this first look, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.